my Jeep Wrangler, I've had some issues using the existing wiring in the USB port here with both the Sony and the Alpine that's currently installed. So I'm going to try to, I've tried a couple different options. Uh, you can see right now I have this cord going back here because I was testing it out. This seems to work just fine, this little USB cigarette lighter port. I tried just a really long cord uh, just to replace it like this long USB female port and it still had some issues so now I'm gonna try to take this out essentially you gotta take this piece off and then get that cigarette lighter off of there but so far it's been a pain in the ass you can see I unplugged it there but this other piece still won't come out I'm pretty sure that was just where my finger is there's some tiny nubs they need to push out but I can't seem to get it uh, I'm gonna have to go to get some help so that part probably won't be on film uh, and then we'll see if we can fit this guy inside there and we'll just screw on with this locking bolt on the back Alright, so I didn't get a lot of this on video. Hopefully it'll make sense while I explain it. Uh, as you can see, and I'll show some pictures, we were able to get the USB port screwed on the back there and in the front. So on the front there, it just is two USB ports. I took it to my I took it to my father in law's help house to get some help for this. Uh, all that's really holding this in are these two nubs here and in right here so I don't know if they would have gone in they didn't seem to push in so we just took a Dremel or he took a Dremel and shaved off the little nub pieces and then this pushed right out the front here so like it was in like this and once we dribble it off, it just pushed right out, simple as can be. Of course, you got to unclip, uh, you know, this part, obviously. So now my plan is to put this guy. I'm just going to put a little USB port in here, a little USB fast charge from Samsung. I'm going to put that in there like this. Connect it back up and put it back in here. I'm going to zip lock, the zip tie it up. I'm going to connect, essentially I'm going to connect these two pieces here. Alright, so it clicks on there. Now this is in there. So there are two USB cords coming off the back of uh, this USB. And it's these two right here. So I'm going to connect one. I'm going to connect the bottom one. Here. Into this. See? So that is in there, and then the extra cord I'm going to plug in to my Alpine head unit, it goes in back in this area, I don't know if you can see that with the camera or not. Alright, so basically I'm going to run it up through here and plug it in the back of this thing and then button everything up and I should be able to plug in my USB port into there to get CarPlay to work, uh, CarPlay or Android Auto to work. So let me stop this for a second, button it up and then we'll see if it works. Alright, so I button this back up. You can see the air is working and here's my USB ports. So, I'm and here is my Alpine head unit. Uh, see if maybe you can see this is the USB from that uh, USB port in the cigarette lighter area and 
the other one is plugged in behind here, like I just showed you before I stopped the video. So I will clean all this wiring off later. Uh, right now I'm just trying to make sure things work. But, so let's do a test here. So here is my Google Pixel 3A XL. So now, when I plug this into the bottom one, it should start charging the phone. Or do Android Auto. Alright, that's good. So the top one does Android Auto. It connected. Uh, there. So now let's just see if my philosophy. So Android Auto is definitely working. Uh, let me take this back out and try the bottom one. Or that's the radio on the uh, Alpine Alpine ILX W650. So let's try the bottom one again and see what happens. Okay, so it's charging. I don't know why it gave me the pop-up for Android Auto. Uh, but let's see, so if I unplug it, it's not charging. Now I'm going to plug it to the bottom one. I don't know why it automatically connects to... It shows like it, it shows like it's trying to get an Android Auto, but I don't know why it does that. But regardless, it's still charging. Alright, so... I haven't determined if it's fast charging still, even though that was a fast charger that I plugged in there. So, let me unplug this, flip it around, plug it in just to be sure, and we're on Android Auto. But now, what I didn't, I don't remember if I showed in the early part of this video, I did just plug this port in to the head unit for a while, driving with my whole dash torn apart just to make sure this port would work fine so I think it will be fine uh, and then of course if you want to unplug it now we're all buttoned up right uh, I know the original one points upwards but my father-in-law had a good point he said that you know if it's nighttime this is plugged in you want to open it it might be easier to pop this down and get in there since these aren't backlit it's out uh, so that's pretty good. And then let me go ahead and button up this dash and uh, we'll check out the rest of this. Uh, also, uh, it is Kentucky. It's 88 degrees. The heat index is like 98. I recommend doing this in the heat. That's the best way to do it because if you're not sweating to death in your Jeep, you're not doing it right. Right? All right. Uh, so just to recap, the reason I did this, uh, I've tried two different Android Auto head units and want to use the wire back here to plug into you can see it going right through there uh, that wire i used to tap into the wire that was for uconnect back here and to go to this console usb port uh, android auto would just cut off it wouldn't just not work totally it didn't work at all in the it didn't work very well it was worse in the sony uh, I know this is getting rambly here, but the Sony AX100 worked fine, no problem. The Sony AX5000 didn't work hardly at all, and this Alpine is about 50-50. So, I just, my only last resort at this point is either Android Auto is not for me, or this uh, USB port in the glove box and the console is just not very good. Which would make sense, because when they started making these Jeeps, they weren't playing on USB 3.0 data, right? And I've never used my cigarette lighter for actual cigarettes, uh, obviously, and now I have two ports, and pretty much every cord I have will have some kind of plug like this. So I'm pretty good with this either way. So uh, I'm going to button this back up. Uh, I am going to test it 
with the Samsung to see if fast charging still works through there. Alright, just for shits and giggles here, we'll test this with the Note 9 that I was previously recording on. You can see this thing clamps on pretty good. Alright, I got it off. So, we're going to plug into the bottom port there and into my Note 9. This is a, a Google cord directly from the Google shop. costs like $20. So, it should, in theory, be one of the best cords you can get. All right, and we plugged in, and we are charging. It didn't give me the Android Auto pop-up, which is good. It does say fast charging, so that's good, because that was a fast charger that I had plugged into there. So now this is great. This is the best of both worlds. I have fast charging for my just outlet for charging, and then, uh, as you can see, once I pull this out, flip it, smack it up, flip it, and we should have Android Auto popping up here. Boom, there's the Android Auto signal here. And on the Alpine, it shows Android Auto. So this is good. Uh, we're liking this setup. All right, so now we're all buttoned back up. And you can see, I got that USB port action, right? So, there you go, you can see it looks nice and clean. And, you know, I can put this up if I want. Boom. Or, you pop it down. And I plug this into the top guy. And Android Auto should start working. Boom. Uh, I will note, I'll put a link to this same kit I used. It came with uh, some screws, a bigger ring, and this piece here. I guess if you couldn't replace that, you could just mount this under the dash or something, but I didn't want to do that. Uh, we did at first try to use this one, but it wouldn't screw all the way down. I don't know why. It doesn't look like the threads are misaligned, but it has a smaller one, and it worked fine. Uh, we eventually got a wrench and then a channel lock to get it down tight. Of course, be careful. It's all plastic. You don't want to snap it, but it's in there snug now. It's not moving. And, yeah, I feel pretty good about this setup. Yeah, I mean, there's no, you know, you still got cord, of course, but you had a cord anyhow with the cord in the console. Uh, and I usually put my phone in this cup holder here on this cell cup so yeah I mean it won't be that bad uh, in theory I guess you could replace the one inside the console with one of these as well but that seems like a lot more work and for now this is pretty good and if I got a different head unit that had different cords for Android Auto and CarPlay I could run each one to a separate one but for now I'm good with this setup we'll try this out uh, you know if I start having problems with this wire, I'll take the video down and re-update it, but for now it it's, uh, seems pretty good. Alright, thanks for uh, checking me out.